Hey guys, and just as I promised, we're back with a video on is mining Magicoin profitable on your cubbyboard too? Just as I promised. Um, so this is where we left ourselves off. Uh, this is the Telnet screen or the SSH screen of us mining. And it's just ticking away in the background. As you can see, we just got a block. So we get the yay. Um, but down to the short and narrow of it, is it still profitable? So this was the price um, when I started. This is the exact same clip out of the video I did a week ago. And at that point, was it profitable? Well, I wouldn't have started, I wouldn't have continued mining if it wasn't profitable. So that kind of answers the question. But how do we work out whether it is profitable or not? So first of all, you need to work out what your kilowatt, uh, what what the kilowatt hours is. So a kilowatt at, in England, the most expensive I could find it was sixteen pence. So it's not, you know, it's it, that that would be the most expensive. I think I'm on about fourteen p, but we'll, we went with I went with the most expensive. So that's the average you or that's the most expensive price I could find for for one or per kilowatt hour. So next, uh, we need to know how much the cubby board uses to power itself. So after I figure out how to spell requirement. Yeah, that would do. Um, so it uses five volts and uh, the highest I've, re I've read it drawing is 2 amps. So, to get the watts, you need to times the voltage by the amps. So, nice easy maths. 10 uh, is 10. 10 watts. And next, we need to figure out uh, how many kilowatts that is. So, to get the kilowatts, let me just check this is right on Google. Yep. So you take our 10 watts and we divide it by a thousand. If I can spell divide. This is why dyslexic people never type on YouTube. So we divide it by a thousand and that gives us 0 0.01 kilowatts which isn't a lot. So then we need to work out how many hours are in a month. So if you Google it, Google will tell you that there is 730.001 hours in a month. And just for precision, we're going to use that in our, in our, um, in our calculations. So what does 730.001 times 0 0.1 kilowatts, 0 0.01 kilowatts, equal well it is 7.3 kilowatt hours so now how much does that cost us well as you can guess from the 16p not particularly a lot so we do a 16p times 7.3 kilowatt hours and if i've got this wrong please do comment in the in the comment section i would really like to know if i've got it wrong um, so do that on a calculator. It works out to be uh, 1.68, so it's one pound and 16p. Uh, but for statistical purposes, we're going to round it up to one pound and 17p. So what does that mean for us with the current price of Magicoin, which I will show you in a minute as they're crashing? although every cryptocurrency is crashing and it's still profitable. Um, we need to make two, two magic coins in a month and at the current price we would have made more. We would have, we would have well broke even. So is it still profitable? Yes, it's still profitable. Um, is it decently profitable? Um, well, according to the current 
cost. Uh, it's 90p and just for comparison, I will stick it back into dollars. So it's at $1.24, so it's dropped $26, 26 cents since I started mining it, which isn't a bad drop, but it did rise nicely in the middle. Um, yeah, it's still profitable. Um, as long as you make more than two magic coins in a month at the minute, you are still well profitable. So I'm going to keep this up. Um, I'm not really concerned about what the what is going on and you know in the rest as long as they're still worth something and it's still profitable. I'm going to keep mining. Um, this little board sits on one of my shelves. It doesn't have any fans. It's quiet and i'm just gonna let it tick away um it's not gonna add a it's gonna add you know less uh about it's gonna add a pound to my uh electricity bill a month uh which is nothing it's absolutely nothing i think i've accidentally left lights on and probably charged myself more than that so in the short and simple yes it's profitable if you enjoyed this video you know where the like button is and until next time, 